Well, to the best of our knowledge, we're only one of less than a dozen agencies nationwide that are utilizing small UAS for law enforcement and public safety purposes. You know, you, uh, you really don't realize how important anything is until you want it and you don't have it. One of the most promising things about small unmanned aircraft systems is that they are relatively inexpensive, uh, they're very low maintenance. It's cool. It's uh, The capabilities of the aircraft are really impressive for the tiny package that it's in. I'm very impressed. People that say, well, we can't really afford this, are going to see this in operation and say, we can't afford to be without it. The 21st century is the age of technology. It is literally everywhere. And just as we communicate and socialize and do just about everything under the sun with the aid of advancing science, the need to study and improve the way we use this power is becoming more critical than ever. The University of North Dakota has long been a leader in aerospace and technology research. And now, new work in high-tech unmanned aircraft research is underway at UND's John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences. The Law Enforcement Small Unmanned Aircraft Project is a cooperative effort combining the significant resources of UND Aerospace, local law enforcement agencies, and industry partners, Aerovironment, and Dragonfly Innovations. And this partnership that we have uh, established is ideal. We have a ready supply of uh, commercially trained pilots here at the University of North Dakota. We have a center of excellence which supports unmanned aircraft research. Uh, we have wide open skies and we have law enforcement agencies that are very willing, very supportive and very enthusiastic about uh, deploying small unmanned aircraft over their incidents. A lot of that technology has not been available uh, in this area, but because the University of North Dakota has a great reputation nationally. This equipment is now available here. A few departments are a little skeptical, but I think once we have it and uh, we can uh, utilize it, it's, it's gonna be just state of the art. The purpose and approach to this research is multi-core. The primary aim is to establish a concept of operations for law enforcement agencies using small unmanned aircraft systems. To accomplish this, the group has started development of a standardized training curriculum for small UAS pilots and sensor system operators. In addition, work has begun on gathering data to measure the efficiency and effectiveness of fixed-wing and rotary-wing unmanned aircraft systems in law enforcement missions. And the ultimate project goal is to provide law enforcement agency partners with the ability to deploy small unmanned aircraft over actual law enforcement incidents. One of the unique aspects of our project is that we are utilizing two completely distinct and different airframes. With the advent of the use of small unmanned aircraft, it gives those agencies who could otherwise not be able to afford an air support unit the ability to put up an aerial asset over a crime scene, a traffic accident scene, or a natural disaster scene. Never having the availability to have it here uh, I think has hampered law enforcement a little bit. You know, once we get it here, we get it operational, we're going to find a great benefit to not only law enforcement, but uh, uh, it's going to be just a great tool. Based in Simi Valley, California, program industry partner Aerovironment brings the Raven B unmanned aircraft system to the project. The Raven B is a conventional, fixed-wing, small unmanned aircraft supported by a digital data link system. Proven and highly effective, this surveillance system is widely utilized by the U.S. military 
and is credited with saving thousands of lives by providing real-time intelligence on threats to service members. The Raven B is hand-launched and capable of both manual and autonomous flight. And with mission lengths of up to 90 minutes, the forward and side-looking high-definition video cameras coupled with available infrared sensor and laser provide a technology package that's hard to beat when rapid deployment and reliability are essential. No, the training's great. I mean, the services that Air Environment's been providing for us as far as training is awesome. I definitely feel confident with the aircraft. The autopilot and some of the stabilization systems uh, keep the aircraft doing what you need it to do in a very stable platform really for, for how small it is and how compact it is. Aerovironment now brings a second UAS to the mix, adding even more flexibility and capability and the law enforcement small UAS project is the very first official entity to fly this technology. We're excited about the Cube, primarily because of the user friendliness of it. Uh, we received factory training, and at the end of that factory training that evening, we actually got a request for a mission, and we were able to deploy the aircraft that evening with our operators. So I think that really illustrates how uh, easy it is to use that system, so that's really exciting to us. The Cube is an agile, five and a half pound quadcopter featuring payload options which include high-quality electro-optical and infrared cameras. Powered by a large lithium-ion battery, the Cube boasts impressive mission durations of up to 40 minutes. And future technologies are in the works, which will allow even longer operations with a more streamlined power pack. Really, that's kind of the keys to the castle with many technologies, including small UAS, is if you can pack more power into a lighter weight storage medium, you can really uh, help a variety of different technologies. Aircraft and payload functions are directed via proprietary touchscreen software installed on a Panasonic Toughbook computer. An intuitive, user-friendly display makes operating the Cube uncomplicated and efficient. The Cube is a nice hybrid between being able to control it through pilot interaction and utilizing it for autonomous flight as well. So I think they've really hit the mark with having a good compromise between the two. It uh, has a number of different stabilization systems that make it a very, very stable platform. Additional rotary wing technology comes to the project with an international flavor. The Dragonflyer X6 is a product of Dragonfly Innovations based in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. The Dragonflyer X6 will be uh, very, very appropriate uh, in, for instance, a barricaded hostage situation. So the operator would be able to launch the aircraft uh, with the high-definition video camera, hover it within feet of a doorway or a window, uh, gather real-time intelligence that could be then downlinked back uh, to a base station and evaluated by a special weapons team commander to determine the appropriate way to, to enter that location. Quiet as a whisper and extremely maneuverable, the X-6 is a six-rotor helicopter equipped with 11 separate stabilization systems. A powerful surveillance tool, the X-6 excels with stable, low-level hovering capability and instantaneous video feed to the operator's ground station. The Dragonflyer X-6 can be equipped with a variety of different payloads. Uh, the one that we are utilizing now allows us to get a high-resolution video downlink to the ground station uh, and also take high-definition 5-megapixel still pictures of a crime, accident, or disaster scene controlled by the pilot operator or in our particular methodology, we utilize a separate sensor system operator who has control of that camera. Through solid partnership, the aim of the Law Enforcement Small Unmanned Aircraft Program is to improve the scope and utilize the results of this research by applying it to real life situations. Funded with a grant from the UND Office of Research, the program employs five part-time small UAS pilots. 
In addition to receiving training from system manufacturers, aircraft operators are FAA licensed commercial pilots with medical certification. Pilots are on call seven days a week and operate under the authority of FAA Certificates of Authorization, allowing operations in the 16 counties that make up the northeastern region of North Dakota. Sensor system operators are trained members of the requesting law enforcement agencies and work directly with the UAS pilots to ensure safe and effective missions. The ultimate objective of this program is improved public safety for everyone. Combining the power of technology, superior academic resources, innovative industry partners, and law enforcement expertise, the University of North Dakota's Law Enforcement Small Unmanned Aircraft Project is the vanguard in safe, effective, and efficient deployment of small unmanned aircraft. To learn more about this and future research projects at UND, follow the contact information on your screen now.